the lung head of the biceps femoris. So you can see this is normal. This is how it looks like. The blood is pulling down here, the tissues, and you see the muscle fibers are disrupted. You see we only have fluid here, we miss the muscle, so we have retraction of the muscle belly. They're quite easy to calculate and diagnose too when you have them. Here we have a terminality. This is the ischial spine here again, normal side. Here we have a large dark area, which is a swimming sentence that's attaching there again. So you'll find 90% of all your lesions up here, even though they have pain and spasm down here. It will only be a muscle lesion if you see some swelling, redness, subcutaneous bleeding. Otherwise, look further up here. That's where they'll be sitting, mainly here, a few up here, the attached sides. So a crammed up muscle here, don't spend time on treating that. Go up here and you can see if you can reproduce the patient's pain. I'll put in all the news references for you. Uh, so there are evidence back in these areas here. Uh, otherwise, Jason has the PDF if he wants to share that with you. Does any of you have any hip pains here? Any hip pain I can treat? Any hip pain? Hip. Hip. No hip pain? Hip. Any pain around this area? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be gentle. We don't have any. More, more health. <laughs> any questions? Um, concerning the medications, some patients may have uh, uh, dual uh, antipalant. Say something to uh, to uh, to to uh, uh, or some no it some <coughs> antipalant therapy. Mm -hmm. So is it a kind of contraindication in the shock wave therapy? No. The only contraindications with these two devices is that you can use this, uh, the high intensity lasers for nearly everything. Just don't shine them into the eye. And if you have a patient who suffers from epilepsy, don't shine into the eye. Either. That's the only thing you have to stay away from. So you can't do anything wrong. You have to watch out for burning the skin. You have to move the probe and you have to communicate with the patient. With the patient. They should feel a warming of the tissues, but no burning sensation. Then you have to take it a bit away from the skin or move it around faster or turn down the, the energy dose of the patient. In focus shockwave, you just have to stay away from organ tissue. And you don't want to treat organ tissue. Anyway. And stay away from large nerves 